now let's solve this question this is gate electronics 2010 question so the question is saying that column a column b two columns are given to you and the question is saying match the logic gates in these columns means which logic gate is equivalent to which logic gate okay you can see match the logic gates in column a with their equivalent to column b okay we need to match the equivalent logic gates in column a column b okay so let's see this so here you can see this is your this is your nor gate right correct okay option p look at p this is your nor gate what is this p this is nor gate so if you if you look at p that is your nor gate okay that is the nor gate nor gate means you have or gate and there is bubble okay there is or gate and there is bubble so this is called nor gate you can see okay now if you have a comma b if these are the inputs then what is the output of this nor gate that will be complement of or that will be a bar b bar okay that will be a bar b bar so this is your p now tell me in column b which gate is equivalent to nor gate in column b which which gate is equivalent to nor gate you can see option 4 look at option 4 because you can see this nor gate this is a bar b bar and this a bar b bar this is your option 4 in column b this is your option 4 in column b because what is option 4 look at option 4 that is a bar b bar and okay so there is and gate but before that there is bubble before that there is bubble means it simply means that this is same as a bar b bar okay so you can see p will match with 4 yes or no this p this will match with 4 okay p will match with 4 so if p is matching with 4 two options are gone option a is gone option c is gone two options are gone tell me which option you will check if you are in the exam in the exam which option you will check option a option c are gone now which option you will check which gate you will check there is no benefit in checking q because q will match with two okay you can see q2 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 so there is no there is no point in checking q okay let's check this r okay let's check this r what is this gate r this gate r this is your exclusive or gate yes or no look at gate r okay this gate r this is your exclusive or gate XOR gate okay so this is the XOR gate you have this is your you can see this is your XOR gate a b so your output will be XOR a XOR b so this is your r now tell me which of these gate in the column b which of these gate is equivalent to XOR gate which of them is equivalent to XOR gate tell me in this column b which gate is equivalent to XOR gate you can see the answer will be option 3 okay option 3 because you you can see what is this gate see look at this option 3 what this option 3 is saying okay let me focus on this option 3 in this option 3 you have this XNOR gate okay you have this XNOR gate but there is bubble here and like this okay you have XNOR gate so this is a this is b so tell me what equation you will get here tell me what equation you will get here see you will get this you will get a bar okay exclusive or b and complement yes or no agree with me okay yes or no because you can say that this is xor and then there is complement this bubble means complement okay this bubble means complement right okay see this bubble this bubble this bubble means complement this bubble means complement okay so what you can say you can simply say that a bar exclusive or b c at this moment at this moment the equation is a bar exclusive or b and this, this because of this bubble you can put complement because of this bubble you can put complement yes or no the same expression you can also write because this is your xnor gate this is your xnor gate the same expression you can also write like this okay remember these these are same the same expression you can also write like this because this is your exclusive nor gate what is this this is your xnor gate okay this is your xnor gate simple okay now tell me this expression that you have this a bar exclusive nor b this is equivalent to a x or b yes or no we already know a bar exclusive nor b that is equal to that is equal to a x or b both are same they are basically same because these are some standard results that we already know for example a x or b that is same as a bar x or b bar similarly remember a x or b remember that is this a xor b that is same as a bar exclusive or b bar but if i change only one of them 
means what I do a bar exclusive or B. If I do this a bar exclusive or B. Now this is equivalent to a x nor B. Similarly, if I do a x nor B bar, that is same as a a x or B bar. That is same as a x nor B. Okay. Similarly, if I do this a bar, okay, what I do, if I do the complement of a x or B, then that also will be x nor. Okay. So all these are standard results that you already know. Okay. For example, you can prove it. Okay. Let's prove it. Let's prove this. Okay. Let's prove. Okay. Let's prove it. So what this is saying, this is saying that a bar x nor B that is same as a x or B. Can you prove it? A bar x nor B that is same as a x or B. Let's prove it. Okay. So tell me how will you prove it? If you want to prove it, then you can prove by case. Okay. The proof, the proof you can do it by case. Okay. By case method, you can prove it. Okay. By case method, you can apply the by case method. So if you apply the by case method, tell me what are the cases possible? There are only two cases possible. There is case one and there is case two. Okay. Only two cases are possible because a comma B are Boolean variables. This a comma B, these are Boolean variables. Only two cases are possible. Either a will be zero or a will be one. Only two cases are possible. No other case is possible. Remember a comma B, these are Boolean variables. So either this case is possible a is zero or this case is possible a is one. Only two cases are possible. Now you tell me in this case, when a is equal to zero, then what this will become, what this will become. Or I can say what LHS will become, what RHS will become. Tell me what LHS will become, what RHS will become. Let me know. In this case, when A equal to zero, see if A equal to zero, then this is one X nor B. Okay. One X nor B. See, this is equivalent to what? What should I put here? What should I put here? Very simple. See, see, notice, notice, notice. If this B is zero, if this B is zero, then what I will put? If this B is zero, if this B is zero, what I will put here? If this B is zero, I will put zero. If this B is one, I will put one. So can you notice I am putting this B as it is? Can you notice this B is coming as it is? So here it will be B. Okay. Remember one X nor B that is equivalent to B. Okay. Very simple. So you can see this LHS, this LHS will be B. When A is zero, then this will be one, one X nor B that will be B. What about A X or B? If A is zero, if A is zero, okay. Remember. If a is zero, so then what will be a zero x or b? What should I put here? What should I put here? Notice if b is zero, then I will put zero. If b is one, I will put one. Okay. So again, you can notice you are putting this b as it is. Again, you are putting this b as it is. So remember zero x or b that is equal to b. Okay. Very simple. So you can see if a is equal to zero, then this RHS will become b. Okay. They are same. They are same. Okay. Similarly, in this case two, when a equal to one, then what LHS will become? If a equal to one, what LHS will become? See, if a equal to one, then it will be zero, zero x nor b. That will be b bar. You can check. Okay. Zero x nor b. That will be b bar. See what is happening here. If I ask you what is zero x nor b, zero x nor b, what that will be? Notice if this b is zero. Okay. I'm asking, what should I put here? If this B is zero, what I, what I will put? Tell me, see, I'm asking what this should be equal to. Now tell me if this B is zero, what should I put? I should put one. If this B is one, I should put zero. So can you notice I am putting complement of B. Okay. I am putting complement of B. Now, similarly, you tell me what will be one X or B. What will be one X or B X or again, you can notice what should I put here? See, if this B is zero, I should put one. If this B is one, I should put zero. Again, I am putting complement. Again, I am putting complement. Okay. Yes or no. So very simple point. This is what I'm saying that if you take a equal to one, then it will be zero X nor B zero X nor B that is B bar. And what will be RHS RHS will be, if you put a equal to one, then it will be one X or B one X or B that will, that will be equal to B bar again. You again, you got same. Okay. So these two are same. Is this clear? Is this clear? A X or B that is same as a complement X nor B. Okay. These are same. See, there is another method also. If you want, if you want to prove that a complement X nor B that is same as a X or B, then there is another method also. What you can do? You can just expand. Okay. What you can do? You can just expand because you already know, you already know that if I have a X or X X or Y, that will be what? 
that will be x bar y or x y bar okay similarly if i have x nor if i have x nor then what that will be that will be x bar y bar or x y okay so this is the idea now you what you can do here also you can expand just expand what this will become this will become a bar b or a b bar okay now tell me what this will become what this will become here you can see what this will become remember here this is your x please notice here this is your x here your x is this so tell me what it will become it will become x x b okay it will become x b or x bar b bar or it will become x bar b bar can you notice they are same can you notice they are same okay very simple so this is the point i hope you understood okay so what you can do you can expand also because these are the equations we already know a x x or y that is x bar y or x y bar similarly x x nor y x x nor y that is x bar y bar or x y okay so very simple you can do like this so remember these are same so finally what i am saying you can see that these are same means this option r what is this r this is your xor gate this is your xor gate so this is your a xor b and what is this option 3 what is this option 3 this option 3 is a bar xor b a bar xor b and that is same as a xor b that is same as a xor b so remember r will match with 3 okay so r will match with 3 so this option is gone okay or oh, this option b this option b is gone so finally your answer is what answer is option d is this clear for this question answer will be option d okay very simple so we have seen that this p this p will match with 4 this r will match with 3 okay let's see this q also what is this q can anyone tell me this is your nand gate right yes or no this is your nand gate nand gate means a b bar and that is same as a bar or b bar that is same as a bar or b bar correct okay this is same as a bar or b bar this is your nand gate nand means a b bar okay a b bar that is same as a bar or b bar and that is same as your option option two look at option two what option two is saying option two what option two is saying option two is saying a bar or b bar okay so remember this q will match with the two q will match with two okay very simple now let's see this s also s what this s is this s is your xnor gate yes or no what is this s this is your xnor gate okay xnor means a xnor b this is your xnor gate now this a xnor b this is same as what this a xnor b this will be same as what tell me a xnor b this a xnor b okay this is your a xnor b now this will be same as you can see this will be same as this option one this option one because see what is this option one option one is like this you have xor gate in this option one you have xor gate but there is a bubble here so it is like a b so what this is you can see this is your a bar xor b okay and they are same they are same okay we have already seen this we have already seen this they are same so here you can easily notice that this s s will match with one okay what will happen here i can say s will match with one so this will be your answer okay very simple question so the answer will be option d i hope you understood okay very simple question